Hi, my name is Heather and I'm a certified HypnoBabies Childbirth Hypnosis Instructor and my business is called Mindful Birthing and I'm making this video to explain what HypnoBabies is in a nutshell. Um, please excuse the kind of selfie <laughs> video style happening right now. I don't, I've never made a video before um, for YouTube or whatever and so I don't have a, you know, setup. Um, but this will hopefully suffice. Um, so, Hypno Babies is, first of all, it's childbirth hypnosis. It is different than hypnobirthing. That's the first thing I wanted to explain. Um, a lot of times they do get mixed up. Um, hypnobirthing and Hypno Babies both use hypnosis for childbirth education. But other than that, they're completely different. Um, hypnobirthing wa is based on a book, and it is taught in um, completely different ways, to, just based on who's teaching it. There's not one um, class for hypnobirthing and one kind of structure to it. Versus Hypnobabies, that was created by um, Carrie Tushoff and is a very structured program and the classes are all taught in the same way no matter what instructor you use and then there's a home study course that's also um, follows the same outline as the in-person classes so hypnobabies is more structured in that way and hypnobabies also covers um, staying healthy in pregnancy, nutrition, making informed choices during birthing and pregnancy, and um, the process of birth and all that stuff. So it's very comprehensive and um, hypnobirthing can be just um, more focused on the hypnosis, but like I said, there's, <clears throat> there's not as much structure to it um, in the way that it's taught. So that's kind of the main difference. Um, and then Hypnobabies is using um, self-hypnosis to create hypno-anesthesia. Hypno so what that means is that um, the pregnant mom will enter hypnosis, whether she's following the instructor, the instructor's reading a script to her, or her birth partner's reading a script, or she's listening to a track, um, or she's just doing it on her own. Um, all of these are forms of self-hypnosis. There might be someone leading her, but that doesn't mean that she's not the one that is controlling the process. And that's one of the main things about hypnosis that we like to emphasize is that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis, which means that the person being hypnotized has to want to be hypnotized, they have to follow along, they have to decide to go along and accept the suggestions. If they don't, they won't be hypnotized and they're the one in control. Um, so the hypno moms use self-hypnosis to learn p more positive and um, I guess just better ways of experiencing childbirth. And so this works through something called post-hypnotic suggestions which is that when the hypno mom is in hypnosis, she'll hear suggestions about things such as, during your birthing time, you will feel waves as pressure. And so when the hypno mom is in her birthing time later, that suggestion has been repeated so many times to her subconscious while she's in hypnosis that now her conscious mind also believes that is true and that's what she experiences. And so that's kind of how post-hypnotic suggestions work and the basis of what hypnosis is. Um, and through hypnosis, we can teach something called hypnoanesthesia, which is uh, basically just a feeling of comfort and peace um, that can eliminate discomfort and pain. And so with hypnobabies, we never guarantee a pain-free birth because there are many reasons why that's not, um, that's just not practical. Um, every body is different, every pregnancy and birth is different, and the way that a hypnomom follows the program can make an, a difference. 
So there's a, just a lot of factors. Um, but with hypnobabies, we can experience easier and more comfortable births. And that's what we focus on. Um, so the hypnoanesthesia is what kind of eliminates that discomfort and creates comfort instead. So that's the hypnoanesthesia and post-hypnotic suggestions. And then relaxation is also a big part of it. Um, being deeply relaxed is one of the um, ways that you enter hypnosis. So becoming deep, deeply relaxed helps you to enter hypnosis. And then being relaxed during your birthing time also helps uh, reduce discomfort as well. So relaxation is important. However, relaxation is not the main um, the main thing. A lot of people say that hypno babies just help them relax so much that they didn't have discomfort. But in reality, um, it's not just relaxing. You can relax as much as you want, but um, relaxing just by itself usually isn't going to eliminate discomfort. It's more about the post hypnotic suggestions. And staying relaxed does help, though, and that's why it's kind of a very wonderful side effect of hypnosis. So those are the kind of the three things, um, the main things of what hypnobabies is. Um, there's also fear clearing, which are, is a special track that helps moms and their birth partners to just release any kind of anxieties or worries or fears that they have surrounding birthing and that also helps because eliminating fears helps you increase relaxation and helps the mind to focus on the positive suggestions rather than um, worrying about what could happen because what our mind focuses on is kind of what our body tries to put into effect so there are many different um, tools in hypno babies that are all based on those things um, there's positive affirmations that hypno moms listen to every day. There's hypnotic tools like the finger drop technique, the light switch, <clears throat> the bubble of peace, um, and then there's the relax cue, the release cue. These are all just um, tools that we teach hypno moms to use during their birthing time. And if you take hypno babies class, you'll come to learn what all of those things mean and how they work for you. Um, so that's basically what Hypno Babies is about, and um, I hope that answers any kind of questions about what it is and how it works. Um, I'm going to make another video after this about my experiences using Hypno Babies and why I became an instructor, so check that one out next, and thanks for watching.